Aqua gang, gang, gang. What do you do, you guys? It's your girl, Empress 777 here today with a general message from my beautiful Aquarian soul family. I hope you guys are doing super fantastic. I most certainly am. Holy angels and spirit guys, please come through. Give us additionally what we need to know. <laughs> additionally, okay, because there's a lot going on here in regards to the energies for my beautiful Aquarians, my Aqua gang, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. The messages are, in fact, general, okay? Don't force anything to fit. Take what resonates with you guys, okay? And leave the rest. Use your own intuition to guide you towards the messages that may or may not be here for you. Da, da, okay? You, like, may not be here for me today. Well, sometimes you don't want to be hearing some certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you don't want to hear certain shit, but it got to be said, honey. Okay? But before we tap all the way in, please go ahead and click the like button, guys. Oh. Sorry. Click the like button, please, guys. Okay, it's free. It's for the free 99. You know what I mean? It helps with the engagement. Okay, on our channel, it helps people find us on the platform. Go ahead and uh, shoot me a little comment down below. I love to see you guys conversing down below with each other, congregating down below. I love to see. I love to see us coming together. Okay. Um, and if you have not already made it official, then what are we doing? Hmm? Come on, come on, baby. We would love to have you, sugar. Make it official, become a part of the gang. We would love to have you, okay? Click that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. So, I feel as though this one might be quite a shocker for you, you guys, okay? Um, there is a shift in energy for sure. You may definitely already feel some of this coming towards you, but I feel as though for a great majority of you, um, the intuitive nudges are there, but you don't quite know what it's going to entail. So this could mean that this person is popping up in your dreams. This could mean that out of the blue, you might start thinking about them. It could mean like a song that the two of you liked came on or you thought randomly about a joke. This is somebody who you have not spoken to, I believe, in quite some time. Um, this person is definitely regretting some of the things that had transpired between the two of you because now they kind of want to take back what they did, what they said or ha what happened, like their part in it. There's a different perspective that this person is having. Now, the first initial cards to come out is intimidation. OK, and what the fuck is this war? So I definitely feel like this person and they battle themselves internally. And I feel like whatever their ego was telling them about this relationship definitely played a part in the actions that they took towards you or the way that they treated you or handled you. Um, I do believe at the beginning of this separation or the disconnect of this connection or whatever went down between the two of you, I don't get you speaking to this person right now. I have to be very clear about that. Um, be very honest that it's a very small percentage of you that may have a very little communication with this person and I feel like that's a very specific storyline this could be because you have children with them so you have to communicate with them or maybe the two of you have like a business or some kind of asset but other than that things are strictly platonic or just cut off completely I'm hearing like flat line they were okay with that okay at the beginning of it I feel like they had a different thought about how things have gone down. Definitely playing the victim. Definitely feeling like they had every right to do what they did, to say what they said. You know, there is a sense of entitlement in reference to this person's beliefs on what they should and should not get out of a connection. And I also feel like they have just a one track mind in that aspect. It's not that they don't care about what other people need. It's like they don't even think about it. You know what I mean? Now, I do feel like you came into the connection kind of loud for this person. That doesn't have to mean that you agree with it. This is how they experienced you. There is this air of confidence that you had. There are standards here. There are boundaries here. There is talking, you know, um, like advocating for yourself. Um, this person may have deemed that to be like talking back, talking smack, talking shit. Like they definitely didn't take you the way that. I feel you intended to come off and that's a them problem, not a you problem. So that's very important to know as well that there is nothing that you need to be changing this person. Um, I feel like the illusions that they 
battled with. It is it is an, a battle within themselves, okay, within their own mind about who they think they are and what it is that they think they deserve, what respect is in a relationship, what love is in a relationship, right? Like what loyalty is. I feel like their definition of that was a little bit skewed and it is because of whatever they were battling internally, okay? It's like a mental battle. I feel like this person took you on as an opponent instead of as a partner. And that is the problem. Um, very intimidated by your your energy overall. OK, even if you don't see yourself as someone who should be intimidating or you don't see yourself as someone who people are intimidated by, that is not true. OK, it could be the smallest things that people get intimidated by. And what it really is, is whatever you are um, possessing, whatever that confidence that you possess is, it it screams at what they feel they're missing, okay? Or it could scream at something that they don't feel like they're good at or they don't feel as though they are reaching the, the level to which you are. So an example of that would be um, if you're having a conversation with this person and it's more like a debate, they may have like a certain theory. You're standing 10 toes down on your theory. You know what I'm saying? You you would speak up to this person if they did something wrong. You were not afraid to, to ruffle their feathers, to shake the table, to come towards them with. Um, I don't feel like you would come towards them with conflict. You wanted more conflict resolution. But this is the type of person who likes to sweep things under the rug. They don't like to talk about the problem. Problems. They don't like to be called out on things. So when they meet someone, I feel like they they intentionally plant certain seeds to where people feel scared to like tell them when they feel mistreated, when they feel like this person did something or call them out. Right. Like if they feel sad to really express how they are experiencing this person, they like to intimidate people to not want to do that. But they didn't quite succeed in that aspect with you i feel like you definitely spoke to this person how you speak to everybody it wasn't in, it wasn't like a oh i'm gonna get you sucker type of shit you know what i'm saying i'm going to talk to you this way because this is what you deserve even though i feel like that's how this person took it very personally they're too self-focused, too wrapped up in themselves, right? Like this is not the type of person who can step out of a situation to see, okay, why are they saying this to me? Why are they, uh, why do they think that I'm this way? Why do they think that I'm behaving this way? Or why do they think that I'm this kind of person? Or why do they think this is an opportunity that I have missed, right? They don't really self-reflect. So that to me screams emotional immaturity. To not self-reflect is emotionally immature, to feel intimidated when someone is genuinely wanting to resolve conflicting energies within a connection is emotional immaturity. Now, <laughs> I feel as though as time has gone on, um, the longer this connection has been, the more it's hitting this person, but I feel like it doesn't hit them immediately. Like I said, at the beginning of this separation, they are fine. They are cool on you because of how they feel you made them feel. And that's because they couldn't get outside of themselves to view it in a different perspective. They were only looking at themselves as the victim. Um, it could be quite some time before this person comes back around. I feel like it's already been quite some time. This is why their energy is showing up. Like I said, you may randomly be thinking about them or you might randomly see them out somewhere for some of you. There's something that triggers this, um, these thoughts in this person's head in reference to how things actually went, right? Seeing things more clearly once the smoke has cleared. Um, because the two of you are no longer so closely engaged with one another, they can see it more clearly or less emotional. I get that this person would point the finger about you being emotional about things, but they're actually the ones who are emotional about things, right? Um, there's an emotional irregularity coming from this side. And cross watchers, you're also welcome here. So just place yourself where you belong in the storyline. If it sounds like I'm talking about you or your person or vice versa, just place yourself where you belong. Somebody here is emotionally irregulated. You know what I mean? And they blame people who are able to 
articulate themselves, who are able to express themselves intellectually or effectively really is what it is, right? Be able to effectively express yourself, effectively resolve conflict, effectively come towards a person with your needs, being able to express that. I'm hearing express it eloquently, <laughs> okay? Is, is a great intimidation for this person. It may have even pissed them off because people don't come towards them with problems. Like people, they make it so that it feels like you're gonna start a war. So this would be the type of person where if you would bring something to their attention where they've missed an opportunity or they did something wrong or there is needing to be a little bit of, sh uh, of um, um, paying attention to the details, maybe a little shift, maybe a little recalibration, okay? This is constructive criticism. Um, they will start a fight. You know, they take it as an offense. They take offense to it. Um, so a simple conversation, like, I feel like we don't go out enough, or I feel like I'm the one who's always initiating communication first and I don't like that, or I feel as though we're not spending enough time together. I feel like any of those concerns, this is the type of person who will get mad at you for expressing how you're experiencing them. And it came to a head. Um, it is the intimidation that got in the way. So if you were questioning your approach or how you behaved because of how things ended, um, you can go ahead and nip that in the bud, right? Like that is not the case. This is this person's issue with someone who is upfront, right? Someone who is assertive, someone who can take control and take lead of their own emotions, right? Um, there's also this idea that because of how assertive you were up front, you were about speaking about what you need or bringing any issues that you have to the table without a problem. There's something about that also where this person feels like sort of like a, how dare you, you know, um, call me out on things. This could be somebody who, who has never really had to um, sit in a space and hear about how people are experiencing them. I definitely feel like it came to a head and it didn't have to, but because of this person's emotional immaturity and their inability to regulate emotions that they would have been experiencing for you, because I do get that this person liked you a lot. I feel like they had, they even loved you for some of them in their mind, right? Um, there was a love there that was cultivated, um, but that ego just got way too big. Um, whatever this intimidation was, it definitely created this storyline in their head about how they are the victim, right? How they experienced you. So like I said, they felt quite all right with either walking away from you or you walking away from them. It's not until the smoke clears and things start to simmer and marinate that they start to really look at things for what it really is. For some of you, this person may have sought out some kind of counseling, maybe therapy, um, or maybe something happened in their life, right? Where it sort of gave them a wake up call, like life is too short or I don't, I have a lot of snakes in my circle, right? Like I have a lot of people who won't be real with me, who won't tell me the real. There's a, a head that they're meeting where they're now recognizing that they made it to where everybody was scared to tell them the truth. And now they don't know who's real and who's fake in their life. They don't know who's for them, who's against them, because everybody is kind of walking on eggshells. Nobody is really telling them the real, giving them the real deal. Um, I feel like this is in all areas of their life. This is at work. This is um, in their family, right? In their friendship potentially in some romantic partnerships. Um, you were definitely a challenge for this person. However, they viewed this because you were a challenge because they, they don't really know how to deal with feelings, emotions, right? Um, they don't really know how to deal with what they were feeling for you and how they were, how they felt like they were experiencing you. You're very strong. There's a strength that I get instead of intimidation. They were intimidated by your strength, but that's what I feel more than anything. Um, so yeah, definitely like a, how dare you type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, who do you think you are? Right. Didn't I tell you that I don't like that? I don't, I don't like arguing. 
right? I don't want to, I don't like arguing. I don't like drama. And it's like, this is not drama, bitch. We really need to talk about what your problem is. We need to talk about what the issue is here. We can't just bounce over shit and throw shit under the table, under the rug. It's just going to pile up and blow up in our face anyway. So we might as well talk about it right now. But this is the type of person who's like, no, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to teach you. I'm going to learn you something. And if you bring it to my table, I'm going to blow up, right? It's a tantrum. It's a Tasmanian devil. It's somebody who will hit below the belt. It's somebody who will go silent, right? Give you the silent treatment or go shoot or like really fall all the way back, right? Get short with you. Get curt with you. Nothing is wrong. What's wrong with you? Nothing, nothing, nothing you in. But you know something is wrong with them. Um, that is to teach you a lesson, to not bring shit to their table like that no more. But I feel like you kept bringing it. <laughs> Love that for you. That is not the issue. That was never the issue. So again, as this person marinates, right? Over the people that they have now collected in their life, um, Something in their soul is now desiring the truth, right? It's desiring something true, something real, not some old fake shit. And I do feel like you're the, you are coming to mind as one of the first people. Um, this, this does feel like begging to me. And that's why I feel as though you're going to be surprised. <laughs> okay. So on this side, I feel like this is the acknowledgement. This is the aha moment, right? I feel like this is something that is popping into their mind. Maybe a download. Maybe it comes after they have a dream about you or after they reminisce about a time that the two of you have had together, right? Some memories, some things that you've experienced with one another. Um, this person is even recognizing that some of the moments that you share with one another, um, they feel as though those were like very special moments, right? Uh, moments that, you won't get with everybody and some of them feel like they were once in a lifetime moments, right? Not to sound so dramatic. This is how they're putting it down. And I feel as though, especially if they've been out there dating and they have not been experiencing that level of connectivity or chemistry or just being able to have an intellectual conversation or having somebody who will, like I said, be real with them. There is a void there now. So that to me signals somebody's soul who is maturing, right? You have to mature at some point in time. Now, some people go their whole lifetime, right? Just kicking and screaming, but there will be discomfort in not wanting to change. When you don't change, you will feel uncomfortable, okay? Until you decide to do it. Or you could just live in this uncomfortability and make it the norm for you. But I don't get that this person wants to do that, okay? So they have set their eyes out on you. I see begging. I, I definitely see pleading. I see someone who has had um, a change of heart. I definitely see fantasizing. <laughs> Please don't make this sexual, ma'am, sir, breast this. I feel like maybe they're battling in their head, in their mind, about why you would be the first person to come to mind in this period of discomfort, okay? So we have one more time for history's sake. We have back together. We have, is this the way love feels? With a, a question mark and an exclamation mark. And then we have thoughts of pleasure. So I feel like these three cards in particular is this person's thought pattern on trying to explain to themselves why they are getting ready to do this. <laughs> you like, do what? Um, come towards you big and light, motherfucking key sweat, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, willing to kill their pride on some, I finally see I was wrong type shit, right? Um, there's a lot at stake here because I don't feel like this person's ego is entirely dead, right? So this is why there would be the back and forth. Why do I want to call Aquarius, right? Like, what would be the reason? You know what I'm saying? They, they may start out with their text message and then delete that shit or just leave it in their drafts. They possibly have a couple of drafts written up. But there's a battle still, okay? So there are some shifts and changes that this person is making um, internally, and energetically, but there's still that sentiment of the same battle that they were having before. There's a little bit of fear here, fear that you're going to embarrass them for sure. For sure. I definitely feel like this person is intimidated by your ability to just keep it real. You're a straight shooter, pow, pow. Um, so you may have really bruised this person without intentionally doing that, right? Like, just keeping it real. Sometimes people can't really handle the truth. Such a cliche statement, but it is true, you know? 
And I do feel like you are a truth seeker and you are a truth teller. And that definitely has posed as a weapon in this person's mind before. I don't feel like they see it that way now, but they're still scared about what you will say or how you will respond, which is possibly why they have not yet sent that draft. They're trying to figure out, okay, do I love this girl? You know what I'm saying? Do I love this guy? Do I love him? Is that what this is? Or is this just infatuation is this just some kind of physical attraction you know was the sex just bomb as fuck or you know am I thinking about wanting that from them finally if it never happened is this just something that is pleasurable or something that I deem will feel pleasurable because I feel like shit right now or is this actually something that I need to fix like worth fixing ciao they gonna be back <laughs> they gonna be back for sure okay one thing's for certain two things for sure so let's see here They told me to be quiet. All right. They said I'm talking too much. I'm telling all they business. Okay. You the one who showed up. What the fuck? We can end this shit right now if you want to. You're the one who showed up. Delicate. This is how they would like to be handled, okay? Um, they do view this as a delicate situation. They do feel like they could be walking into something that will either make or break them. If they are still currently going through the dark night of the soul or, you know, attempting to really get that ego under control, because we say death of the ego, but you can never really kill the ego, right? Like it still will exist, but it doesn't have to be in control, right? And it doesn't have to be toxic. It doesn't have to be ruling over everything. And it doesn't have to be the biggest thing about your personality. So if this person is still struggling with getting that under control, then that would explain their hesitation um, and their inability to say something to you because they don't know if the, if they're in a war with you yet right like they don't know they feel like okay we've been separated for this amount of time we both said things right I don't know if they were things that they can't come back from but I don't feel like they think it is they feel like they could possibly come back from some of the things that were said and or done or they're hoping um I feel like their sense of distress and um hesitancy is stemming from what your reaction will be because that would be a turning point for them for the better or the worse, right? Okay, if we're reconciling, then that would be good. And I do feel like that's what this person is hoping for. Um, but if you let if you let it rip, you know what I'm saying? If you empty the clip on their ass, <laughs> if you if you just let their ass have it with a verbal assault or this person does deem keeping it real as a verbal assault. So I'm just like, it's a lose-lose for you, ma'am, sir, bro, sis. Why would you even come back here? You're not going to get lies. Nobody over here is lying to you. And if the truth is what you are seeking, then you definitely better get that ego in check quick, fast, and in a hurry before you come back over here. The truth is all that you're going to get. It's all you ever got, which is why you're intimidated in the first place. Um, but there's still this um, this nudge, right? This intuitive nudge for them to come back toward you. It does feel like it's being divinely guided. So we have flirting. <laughs> yeah, they just kind of want to come in, flirt a little bit, maybe send a little bit of subliminal signs that they're still interested in you or that they still have feelings for you. Kind of get a feel for if you're seeing someone new, if you are involved elsewhere, if you still see it for the two of you. But they don't want like this heart chakra opening and wearing their heart on their sleeve big ass conversation that will lead to them being damaged emotionally so. so 
I told you, you know, you definitely are assertive. You are a solution based person. You definitely are a problem solver. That's always been a success point for you. Okay. In career and just in life in general, but this person so happened to have a problem with it. And it is because in their mind, it's like, we let's just be in love and not talk about all that other shit. And it's like, yeah, but it's more to that. <laughs> There's more than just being together. Are we going to grow? Are we going to move anywhere? Are we going to do anything? Are we going to evolve the fuck? Like love is part of it. That's just the beginning, bitch. We got to grow from there. Like, so yeah. This might be the type of person who likes to focus on just like the physical part of the relationship, right? Like just the good feels. They don't want to focus on the parts in which it, it requires work to be done. And that's just not realistic. So we have interference. So I do feel like this person may think that you have other people who are in your ear, but I, I, I think that they, they know better than that. I, I really do. I feel like maybe... They're hoping that that's the reason why you were so like in their face with shit. I am getting in the past. This person viewed you as like nitpicking, but that's not what it was, guys. OK, um, sort of like bringing things to the table that needed tweaking, that needed fixing, that needed reconversion. Like, come on, in order to grow, in order to evolve. That's what your life is all about. You don't just do that with other people. You do it with yourself as well. You're just as um, tough and as assertive with yourself as you are with other people it's not like you're requiring these things of people and you don't require those same standards for yourself um maybe this is just too much for you ma'am sir breasts maybe aquarius is just too much for you you know what i mean um nobody is going to handle you delicately like a delicate flower if you're around here wreaking havoc or if you are messing up nobody's just gonna sit here and watch a train wreck like come on Let's be fucking for real. They want to keep things light. We're in love, you know, and, the, and then just let that be it. Let their love be what speaks for everything. Forget, forget any mistakes, right? They don't want to recognize mistakes. They don't want to recognize missed opportunities. They don't want to recognize slip ups. They don't want to recognize any of the bad shit. And it's very unrealistic. That doesn't make sense. I told you that they're coming in, guys, okay? They definitely want you, okay? They, they want to regain access, accessibility, okay? They are hoping that you're ready for it. <laughs> ready for what? Are you ready for it, bitch? Are you ready for it? Maybe they're trying to psych themselves out, you know? Um, I do feel like they're going to start out by like looking up your social media to see what you've been up to. Um, see if they can get any information about where you are in life now, who you are now, right? Um, just so that they know if it's safe. Now, this is a card that I'm, 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 I'm glad to see. Okay, there has been some introspection, which is why this person is geared up to want to come back towards you and have a conversation or talk, talk things out. Potentially let you know that they understand, right? What has gone on. There's definitely rec there is definitely reconciliation on their brain and they may even confess feelings that they have for you. OK, um, how endeavor that doesn't necessarily mean that they're ready. OK, that doesn't mean that they are ready for this kind of um, pursuit or this kind of connection for this kind of game. This is chess, bitch, not checkers. Like, are you equipped for this? Because nobody has time for your tantrums and not being able to hear criticism, constructive criticism about yourself, about this relationship, about how things will go. Um, they would be sadly mistaken to think that you have changed in the aspect of not wanting to evolve or not wanting growth, not wanting things to move forward. Stagnation has never been a part of your game, so they would be sadly mistaken in thinking that. Now, I do feel like this person has been getting guidance. Like I said, that's what this illumination card says. So somebody that um, they trust, right? Someone who is wise, somebody who um, has a lot of wisdom in terms of relationships, connections, life in general. OK, it could be a life coach. Um, 
they may be spending a lot of time alone now, but I do feel like they was outside at the beginning of the demise of this connection. They thought that they would be quite all right. They haven't been able to really let go of this. Oh boy. So let's see here. Inner guidance. So for a lot of you, this is a spiritual awakening for this person, okay, in terms of the way in which they show up in life, you know, illumination is really about introspection, right? Being able to, to analyze oneself, being able to be so emotionally regulated where you can step outside of yourself to view the situation from other people's perspectives that will allow you to be able to understand how people are experiencing you and stop taking shit so personally, right? And so literally, so, you know, this person views criticism as an attack. That's not what it is. It's beneficial for growth, growth in general. I, I do feel like this person's life has been pretty stagnant. They've been okay with that, but now they feel uncomfortable. So something has to shake, you know what I mean? And this could be uncomfortability in multiple areas of their life, not just romantically. They've hit a brick wall. There's nowhere else to go but to grow. That's it. Let's see. Ah, yeah. I'm struggling to get over the past. So they are hoping that, you know, you are at least open to hear who they are now because this is somebody who's believed that they have changed, you know, or that they are changing. I want to have equal give and take. So this is somebody who's more on some reciprocity type of shit. Um, I do see them wanting to be more of a team player. I do see that this person has evolved in that way, at least unappreciated I felt like you didn't care and they didn't guys initially they really didn't um it wasn't until they saw right hmm things are not moving things are not evolving I'm not growing I'm in fact going backwards I'm in fact losing things right even if it's just something emotionally right there's a downward spiral it's not going fast but you can see right Trajectory wise, they're going backwards or they're just not moving. Um, there is a sense of unhappiness. There is a sense of um, unfulfillment, right? There is a sense of being a little bit lost even. There's a great deal of uncomfortability in what they thought they were choosing as just staying the same, right? Like get with it or get lost type shit. So if you walked away or they walked away, it is what it is. Take me as I am type of thing. And that has not worked to their benefit. But they really did not care initially, okay? And it might even shock them that they, they really do care now that they are unpacking, you know what I'm saying? The, the things about themselves, okay? They're toxic patterns, their behaviors, their traumas, their history. Okay. Um, it could be generational curses that have been in their family for quite some time. There's some deep shit that this person has been unpacking. It's not like they just woke up one day and was like, Oh, I see what I did wrong. No, 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 no. This has been a process for sure. It has been a process, but I feel like there's still some residual effects of how they feel like you talked to them or how they feel like you are um, very honest. Um, brutally honest is what I'm hearing. Maybe you don't have a filter, but it's never to hurt people. It's always to help people. And really the only people who get intimidated by that or hurt by that or triggered by that are people who have their own deep rooted seated issues within themselves. You see, it is projection. So we have a conversation. Look, escape. I left when things got hard. So this is either how you see them or how they see you. And we already know this motherfucker is up in the building. Okay. As wide as the equator. <laughs> Fucking up everything in their life. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. No shit, Sherlock. And then we have conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. You see, to me, that sounds like more of that flirting energy, more of that lightheartedness, right? The, the keeping things kind of light, keeping things kind of not so deep. 
not getting too deep into things is what I, I fear this person is wishing for, but there is no doing that. You know what I mean? You're the type of person who will call you. You're going to, you are going to address the elephant in the room immediately. Okay. No, no, no time for niceties. You know what I'm saying? We will, we will say hello and we're going to get right into that shit. And I do feel like that's what this person fears. They would rather just kind of show you than have the conversation, which to me is a red flag. Honestly, I have to be very honest with that. Right. Because to me that symbolizes their patterns or behavior from the past was just like throw it under the table. I don't want to address, you know, what, what went down, what went wrong, right? Like the mistakes, I'm not really, I'm not really into that. You know, let's just kind of see where it goes from here. We, there's no need to talk about the past and shit like that. And that is a danger zone. I do not recommend that, ma'am, sir, brussis. I don't. So they are uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. We have unsatisfied. I wasn't happy the way things are going. They are not happy with the way things are going. Um, they may be on a journey of self-love and finally discovering who they actually are as their healed self. Um, their healed self would have been a great match for you, but they were not healed when the two of you encountered one another, which is unfortunate. Um, I do feel like they're in the process of healing. I can't quite say if the healing has completed itself. Okay, but we'll have to look at that. So let's hop over to the extended. I definitely want to see what their intentions are moving forward. That will let us know why they are here and if it's a pure intention, if it's genuinely, if it's a genuine interest of wanting to make things right and if they have positive intentions for you, okay? I also want to know what they hope to become of things with the two of you, okay? What are they hoping for of the outcome of this connection? I want to know, has this person made any significant changes other than what we've seen here thus far? Have they fixed the things that need to be fixed in order for this to ever work? Um, that will involve transformation. Have they um, really gotten that ego in check? Those kind of things. I want to see into that, okay? Let's see what the the lesson was here for you. All right. Um, that's going to be important to know as you journey forward to make sure that we're not repeating lessons, of course. I also want to see what this person's karmic route is. Have they already completed paying their karmic debt or are they still in the midst of that? OK, very uncomfortable energy is what I feel. And I'm hoping that that's the past and they have been able to address that uncomfortability and they're not trying to escape that by coming towards you. I also want to know what do they or what will they do next? Okay, what's going to be the next move? How will they approach things? How will they approach you? What are they planning to do? That's so that you can be as prepared as possible or make an informed decision, you know, for what's best for you. We will look to see what the best possible outcome of this could be. Okay, investing in this, what are you setting yourself up for energetically? What are you signing up for? What will be the best possible outcome out of it all if you were to invest in this again? And I also want to know how you can set yourself up for success, right? How you can best set yourself up for success in the next cycle, whether you decide to deal with this or go towards the new. Okay, which we will also get into. All right, let's see who's coming towards you. Only the good, only the new. Who are they personality wise? How will you more than likely meet this person? Their purest intentions for you and relationships. So what are they actually seeking? That will also give us their intentions in reference to why they would be dating you, why they would be approaching you so you can protect yourself. Let's see why they are single. The truth <laughs> from the divine and their exes. I want to look at both of those. All right. And let's see what does entering into a relationship with this person actually feel like? What do you get out of the deal? What, 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 what do you get out of the investment into that relationship? What what do they bring into your table? OK, and then we'll see what the potential is for things to go all the way with the new thing as well. We'll look at some time frames in reference to when the old person is coming back around and versus when you will meet the new person. OK, or when the new person in yourself will potentially um, meet one another. And then I also want to look to see when you will potentially have your next long term committed relationship. I just want to know because I'm nosy. We'll get some advice for you on navigating a healthy and successful future towards your manifestations okay and the quality of life that you desire and i'll also throw in an ask the universe reading where i'll give you the floor to ask a couple of questions but i will have more instructions for that over in the extended so without further ado click the like button as well as the subscribe button i'm going to put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box i'm gonna see y'all over there let's go